Yo, what's good? Back at it again with the Lock Trends, man. Um, uh, I've been gone, you know. I, uh, I normally like upload videos around this time. I might be a little late. Uh, since this is like around my year anniversary. So I might be I was I might be a little late because I uh, I had to do some jail time for the month of August and I guess I gotta you know feel like it's you know I gotta I, I can speak on it like so I had to do twenty days in jail starting the first of August and um and uh, the situation that got me there just one of those you know icing on the cake that of a frustrating uh, of a frustrating cycle you know that I feel like I, I've been going through um, just people kind of trying to I feel like people been trying to test my coolness and my patience a lot and uh I just had this one incident that was just kind of like the icing on the cake. Um, um, so I ended up assaulting a guy uh, and knocked him unconscious for like 45 minutes. Uh, and it was caught on camera. Um, but of course, you know, it was everything that was caught on camera was all the bad things of me. Uh, but, um, but, uh, you know, the situation that transpired was he hit my car and the car was, you know, new. I, you know, I had to ask, uh, yeah, you know, from that, from that, the car was new, and in my eyes, the guy was a aggressive driver. One of the things that I noted from my court date, um, to I can see how he got knocked out was uh, the guy was from New York, and if you know, if you ever driven in New York, you understand like they're like some asshole drivers. They'll cut you off easily and that's kind of what that guy did he had this like i'm in washington dc so this guy uh he uh yeah he kind of cut me off he was behind me and i was using my turn signals and he cut me off and he, and he chose to hit my car instead of hitting his brake which got his ass knocked out you know what i mean and I would say on from my perspective, you know, in hindsight is, you know, I made a mistake because I actually lost out on some money. I could have went to, you know, took on the court and got my vehicle. I could have, shit, I, I could have got the money that I paid for the vehicle and the damages to my vehicle. So, um, you know, I had to do 20 days in jail at the start of August, man, you know, I tell you what about jail, you know, um, I guess, you know, the echoes I hear a lot is like, oh, he's the GOAT, he's the best, you know, I hear those, a lot of those echoes, I don't know if it's people saying it or if it's just in my head sometimes, but I kind of got like a beautiful mind thing going on these days. But um, I tell you what, you know, any second or minute in jail is is not for no man. You know what I mean? I don't care what's in, who's in jail. Uh, yeah, what they've done, like you know, it's just it's just it's just not for man. And you know, for me, I knew that was. I just know these things are kind of like chasing me and I know these things are kind of like 
chasing me as far as like as far as like you know the cycle of life and the laws of attraction so uh, you know one of the things you know that I um you know went through in jail I you know jail was a lot like the first 10 days because they got you in the intake process I'm not sure if it's like they consider an intake as the quarantine phase before you get to the general population. But if you don't know, if you ever get locked up, man, they'll have you on intake for like 10 days. And that's where you only get like, you're in you're in the cell for 23 hours of the day with one hour rec, they call it rec time, recreational time. And man, that shit was hard, bro, because you'll either get it in the morning or you'll get it in the afternoon whatever one you get you won't get it until like the next day so like if you got wreck in the morning you wouldn't get it until the next day in the afternoon but when you got it that afternoon you would get it the next day in the morning so um you know that experience was rough especially because I was unaware of the, you know, that you get more rec hours in general population. So you get like five hours rec in general population, but that took 10 days for me to get to. And man, when I tell you, like I was in that, when I was in the intake process, man, it, it gave me some thoughts, boy. It gave you some thoughts, man, you know, and I try to stay faithful. Uh, but I tell you, one of the things that like, you know, it's not, I wasn't necessarily too worried about my surroundings. Like, I had a good celly, a celly in my intake process. Um, my celly was good. He was cool. He was a Muslim, but he was a smart Muslim. He knew the difference between a Muslim and an Israelite. And he knew the, my values as an Israelite. Um, and we really, we really, you know, we had a, a a, a solid bond. It was no like, you know, we didn't need too many words, you know what I'm saying, to express. Um, but once we got out of intake, I had another celly. Um, he was cool. He had a funny story how he got there. He did 20 years. Um, he had did 20 years in federal prison. Um, and he was cool. He talked a lot, but he was cool. I think he, he also had OCD, which. I don't think he knows, but yeah, he definitely had OCD, um, which was, you know, we was cool. We, we had a couple of uh, heated situations, but we was able to get through it just as grown men and, um, yeah, and just communicate. And, um, yeah, we was able to just, you know, we ended up, you know, solid at the end of the day. Um, but, you know, uh, one of the things that I knew I can offer in jail was uh, I know how to braid. So I knew a lot of the homies on there, they were going to, I could offer, like, I'm not saying I was offering it for, like, something in return, but I knew I knew how to cornrow and, like, do it good. And I was, I think I did. Four, about four, four inmates' heads. I braided four inmates' heads, and um, the first was my first celly, my the celly, his, my celly and intake. I braided his joint. Then another dude and his celly, and then another O O G in the joint. And um, I don't know. I guess I got spent pretty chill because I wasn't really looking for anything. I wasn't looking for like commissary or anything. I just knew like I was only going to be there for like 10 more days, which which I was in for general population. <laughs> and I knew like some of the homies that was in there doing time and I could tell from the roots that you know, they ain't had nobody touch their hair in a while. So, you know, I knew I could offer like a better job than what they were getting done in there because 
and it sucks because you know you see all of them just like their mind frames is just you know it's on their hair care routine um but they you can tell they I don't you know in my eyes they just couldn't channel it channel it channel it like they should have and you know that's probably one of those things that that got them in in there and from my observation and I'm, you know just kind of you know put my ear to the ground a lot of the homies and uh but a lot of the inmates in there were in there from like for like gun charges and you know I'm kind of aware of you know the surrounding natures of the areas so you know I, I see like you know they're you know they're in there for weapon weapon firearm charges because um, they gotta defend themselves just because of the environment there you know the mind frame is kind of like greedy and it sucks because you know I try I definitely had to write some things on the wall just to hope just to hope to give them you know some alertness and awareness hopefully it's not too late for some of them to get on track with certain situations but I think you know too much freedom for them it can be too much freedom for them like you know for me I'm kind of disciplined and uh, I'm kind of disciplined with the freedom that I have minus you know the mistake that led me there um, but you know which led me there you know I think I kind of got misjudged a lot you know I see you know um, one of the things that I I see a lot just you know having this wig having this wig sometimes is you know people you know give you a lot of like they try to come at they come at me as if I'm a if I'm if as if I'm younger than what I am I'm 34 I feel like I'm a little more a lot more mature than you know what they're coming at me at or, and you know I'm I'm old in it you know I was like old in that joint you know what I mean and they think I was they probably thought I was younger until they found out my age and a lot of them look older than me in that joint which is you know sad you know what I mean because you know I know that it's like been a lot of stress on their ass um, but you know, I can't say they didn't bring it among themselves who knows you know what I mean you do got to fight to try to be better but um or just have a better mind frame um but like I say you know a lot of things that I you know I'm absorbing is a lot of like people trying to predict my emotions you know what I'm saying because they so used to seeing young black men in their area probably you know, smoked up, doped up, and they, they thinking I'm one of them since a lot of times, and, you know, they trying to predict my maneuvers and driving, so they trying to cut me off a lot, because they think I'm trying to cut them off, and, you know, it's a, you know, it's a lot of, like, immaturity that's, that gets thrown at me when I'm a lot more mature than, you know, what it seems. And, you know, I, you know, the one situation was just kind of just too much. It was icing on the cake, you know, for him to hit my car when he could have braked was the reason that I, 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 I broke, you know what I mean? And, yeah, you know, I do regret putting hands on him because I, I could have just got paid. Um, but it was just, you know, I've been dealing with a lot. Not to use that as an excuse, but, you know, looking at it, you know, I've definitely been dealing with a lot. And, you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, handled it well, you know, you know, you did this, you do, you've been doing a pretty good job. But, you know, that shit just, sometimes you got your breaking points, man. And that was just one of those breaking points for me. Um, so, like I said, man, uh... 
have, you know, that one breaking point should have me have me good for like the next, uh, what it took 34 years for me to pray, I should be good for another 30 years before my next breaking, next breaking moment. I ain't too like stressed anymore. That was that. That was a definitely a big really stress relief afterwards. But you know, dealing with the consequences is is frustrating because I got I got to do I got a probation officer now. I got to report to which I hate, and it sucks because the you know these probation officers, you know they dealing with a lot of I guess a lot of people that come off that's like homeless and shit. And, you know, the the biggest issue we got right now is my address verification. I gave them, I gave them my address verification, and, and you know they're questioning that, like, oh, you got you got a, a house by yourself. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, why are we even discussing? Like, you know, why is that such a big thing to? to understand like what you even trust you know what I mean come over here do your verification so you can get your confirmation and yeah you know so that's kind of where I'm at you know for the month of August uh, I got I got things to catch up on uh, and you know I'm alright uh, I'm not like stressed or anything I'm happy to have my freedom back though like cause them 20 days was long you know being with other people time having to share a cell with someone if you gotta take a shit uh, and just overall just seeing them ugly ass walls and them raggedy ass mattresses you gotta sleep on you know, it was enough, you know, it's just, it's enough, you know, for a person who values their they freedom, like, I value my shit a lot, so it's no surprise that, you know, that's the thing that, I'm, that I'll that i lose when I make a mistake. Um, so I'm just, you know, I'm all right, though, um, I got a, uh, I got to, like I said, I got to, you know, work my braiding skills out. I know I can get paid for, like, doing hair now. So I probably need to, like, start up a, um, uh, I need to, like, um, put together a, uh, a lockology course in order to generate some lockology certificates um, in order to stamp myself um, but I've been you know trying to maintain trying to keep my my beard trying to keep the beard together you know, let this grow in. My chin strap is connected. It just need to get thicker now. Um, haven't trimmed my mustache, so I'm trying to see what that Michael B. Jordan straggly mustache should look like on me. I don't really like it. Um, I don't know if it'll generate like help generate like some filling. Especially with these corners of the mustache, you know, you kind of let these whiskers kind of fill in and flare out. Hopefully, they can, you know, make it make some filling effects. Um, but you know, my locks is doing good. I got all day. We're going through some some dry. I was going through some dry scalp issues in there. I asked my Sully like if I had a, any lint and the white stuff in my hair from my, you know, from the sheets, these raggedy, them raggedy sheets they gave me. He told me, yeah, but when I got here, I didn't really have much. And he told me, yeah, I started wearing a t-shirt on my head, but I was just really like, um, I was 
just really like free in it, like just rolling around on the sheets. But I didn't think the sheets were like creating any like length in my hair. So when I got here, I didn't really see too much in it. Um, but I can probably stand to do a, a either condition or wash or I just did an apple cider. I just did an apple cider vinegar rinse when I went in. Before I went in, so um, that's been helpful with just like keeping my scalp clean and you know, like recreating some life with the apple cider vinegar and baking soda. That joint been creating like new life. I got a wash basin that I can like lay back in and just you know, like keep even without just draining my hair and like the shower water really let it soak and like you know some of these uh, or some of that dryness of the scalp dissolve from the vinegar I hope I don't know but that's what it's up though with it man like I don't know and it looks like I can never really show but that's what it is this is what it is it's a lot I was looking at um, an animation video I'm just like dying like how, how long this locks is compared to mine it's like his locks is so much longer than my joints and I think I've started before him his second set this is just so much longer. This is like a lot as well. But I have been trimming. I have been trimming the locks. Like, you know, you get your one inch. They say you need to do like a one inch trim every year. So, you know, they, they you know, promote, got their own way of like showing me what needs to be trimmed in a natural way. So, every lock is definitely probably been trimmed at least an inch or two since I've grown them and you know just kind of help they should be healthy I thought about cutting now that I'm almost at my 10 year goal um I do kind of miss like having waves and one and kind of want to see just like what my hair would look like cut like you know the whole reason I did grow out my locks is you know to save my hairline over here I think I'm gonna repair that by letting it grow in and fill in um so you know I'm kind of just eager to see like what I would look like with a haircut sometimes I ain't too eager because I know I really like value my roots so you know cutting them anytime soon I don't think it's that drastic 10 year change that drastic new look at 10 years is not really like it might be there I don't know at 10 years for 10 years it's not there there but I've been thinking now you know at 9 years I'm definitely kind of thinking about cutting or maybe trimming I don't know or maybe a retwist I don't know I don't think a retwist is it though it's either cut it or leave it alone um and maybe make a trim you know who knows who knows who knows I'm gonna let the time just you know go by and work itself but uh you know that's just me that's the update for that's just my update for now uh you know hopefully you know follow if any of the homies i'm trying to see if uh this video can make it to you know the web the um the web browser that they have in correctional facilities because i seen that they were listening to like they really they got tablets in that joint now, which is contraband. But I guess they're, you know, they're for 
the homies at school went to the calendar to give them some type of like uh, you know not leaving them too disconnected um but uh yeah I'm you know trying to see how I can get my videos connected to the web browsers and the the private web web browsers that they use in there because they were like I said they were listening to like NBA Young Boy playlists and Young Dolph playlists in there outside of like listening to like iHeartRadio and like um, radio station radio station program programming web programming with a XM radio, satellite radio, broadcasting. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of my focus now. Um, and if I can get those videos in there, I would, you know, I can show them more of how to maintain their own roots. Um, but, you know, hope all is well. I'm always looking at YouTube, media to see. You know what's going on. Ain't you know I ain't too much as I guess a lot has changed because it's like coming up on ten years. But you know I'm still similar to what I was like back then. I just got a lot a lot more discipline and patience. And yeah, so hope all is well with y'all. Yeah, know. Let me know how y'all take on. Peace, my loop.